Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you are new, welcome. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do because that's how friendships are. That's how you start a friendship. I want to be a friend. Do you want to be mine? Today, this video I am doing about the essential shoes every girl, in my opinion, should have. So if tomorrow Gary's like falls on his head and decides that we're gonna live this minimalistic lifestyle and he's like, you have to choose like seven or eight pairs of all your shoes, which is probably not so minimalistic, wait. Anyway, so these are all the shoes that I believe that all you need in your wardrobe to make you go from casual to glam, from daytime to nighttime, from cool to sexy, from zero to a hero. So without further ado, did I say it right, Emma? Further ado, further ado, further ado. <laughs> I had coffee in the morning, so excuse me. I am gonna get straight to them. So first pair that I think is very, very essential for every woman to have is, drum roll. Oh, it's really high quality production here. Nude pumps. And you guys don't get fooled by the red bottoms. Like you obviously don't have to purchase Louboutins to have the perfect essential shoe. But investing in a nude pump is really a really good idea for your future. I've had these babies for about seven years now and I'm really happy that I purchased a high-end pump that is classic and because it's high-end the quality is really good and I didn't need to spend any more money throughout the years to purchase any other nude pumps I've literally worn them to death there's literally dents of my toes and every time I wear them they still make me feel like a freaking supermodel so with nude pumps they really are the go-to for everything they make you look elongated they make you look tall and you know what there's a lot of different colors of nude so you want to make sure that it kind of complements your skin tone I see some girls uh, sometimes where the nude is a little too bright for their toned skin or a little too dark so I think that it's really important to try them on before kind of look how it looks with your skin tone and purchase it and because of the color they really go with anything at all and they can really upgrade any casual outfit and and just be very complimentary to any fancy outfit. So I've been loving these. Fashion comes and goes, and I remember that I used to have like beige, think like Steve Madden, round toe. So it depends what you like. Get a shape that you feel like will be timeless for you. I've always kind of loved the little tip point. Again, it makes an illusion of a really, really long silhouette. So that's kind of what I've been loving. Another great companies, like high-end companies, that if you're looking into investing into a really good nude shoe you can look into Stuart Weitzman and Jimmy Choo's they are really comfortable and really well made it's again an investment but it's worth it also please always make sure that you put these soles on them protective soles it's very important doesn't matter if it's an expensive or cheap shoe because we use them and abuse them we want to make sure that they last as long as possible the second pair is from the same family and it is the black pumps these are also Louboutins them they were actually the first pair that I ever got I bought them eight years ago again amazing condition they are a leather they just go with everything it's the same shape as my beige one never had to buy another black classic shoe ever again it still looks in a really really good condition so I'm not planning to purchase any black pumps anytime soon again very very important thing like I mentioned uh, with the new shoes that I'm really happy I didn't do when I bought these is there was this trend of like you know the platform right here I had like cheaper version shoes that I had had these and I got rid of them so fast because again that fashion went by so quickly classic shapes are always for the win this shoe makes me feel like such a boss I can wear it when I go to any important meetings to any events super versatile super i mean comfortable is a stretch but you get used to it what heels are comfortable please let me know so these two have been my staple for literally every outfit where i needed to upgrade it and make it look a little more 
The next pair are these sandals and these are just nude flats that I purchased a few years ago, probably like four years ago. And these are from Prada. They weren't crazy expensive. They were probably like $300. But can I tell you that I've been wearing them for four years, but like nonstop, like every single day. And obviously there's a little bit scratches, but it holds off really nicely. These kind of shoes really go with every single thing especially in the summer i really rotate between these or my sneakers that's all really i wear when i invest in shoes i want to make sure it's pairs that i can really wear with anything uh, all the time so these were one of them and these are a staple that prada actually has every season so once these are completely gone which they're still in good condition because i put protective soles i'm gonna basically re repurchase them it's really like this is an essential in my closet even though it's flat it makes you look longer and makes it kind of that invisible shoe that just gives more height it's an illusion but gotta do what you gotta do so these are definitely one of my favorite purchases and I know that I'm showing you guys so far quite a bit of designer stuff but I'm am gonna do research and link for affordable versions so next up are sneakers and you guys if you follow me on Instagram which I hope you do if you follow me on Instagram follow me on Instagram no pressure. I wear these to death. I bought them last year and it's honestly the best thing I've ever done. These are common projects. It's literally just white regular sneakers and I am a sneaker kind of girl. I wear with everything. I wear sneakers with jeans. I wear sneakers with dresses, with skirts, with like anything. Just give me a pair of sneakers. First I was like, wow, these are really expensive for a white sneaker. And you can actually find uh, cheaper versions that are still very good quality because they're leather I'm gonna link them below but I don't think I've ever used a shoe as much as I use these so sneakers just really make everything look a little more casual and it's really comfortable obviously and you just kind of bring that laid-back chic into every outfit so that's really all I need to take an outfit that's a little out there and balance it off with just like I try but like not so hard this just happened all of this just happened. If you are looking for a staple sneaker, I would highly recommend to first get just a white plain one. They always look good. I like the leather because it's easier to clean and they always look like they're new, although they're not. I've been like abusing them. So avoid any patterns, any stars, anything like it. If you are looking for that one staple pair i still do have sneakers with different colorings and stuff like that and stars and patterns but it's only because i always have these in case i need something clean and i do find myself always going back to this next pair is kind of from the same group of the nude pumps and these are just the strappy sandals i'm sure you've seen them around stuart weitzman blessed this earth in bringing back the strappy shoe they are so underrated i think and they literally just make every outfit so much sexier again you can find obviously more affordable versions of these everywhere I got them in nude and in black first shoe that I got was the black one and I literally just wear them in the summers I wear them with everything with pants with dresses with skirts and it just gives such a like very chic and sexy and like slinky look to it i got these in a higher heel but these i actually went a little lower which i'm happy about and that's it i got the nude i got the black and i'm basically covered when it comes to strappy sandals for any events in the summer or going out <sighs> so hot next up is boots and these are, oh, there's still a price on them. And I'm talking about an everyday kind of boot that you can wear. I am a big fan of Comet boots. I feel like because my style is kind of more uh, feminine-ish, feminine-ish, ish. I'm not a big fan of the Chelsea boot, to be honest with you. It's not comfortable for me, so it's actually not part of my essential boots in this episode. But Comet boots are always a love of mine, and these are actually thrifted. They were $35, and I am obsessed with them. This fall and this winter, you'll see me wearing quite a lot of like flowy dresses 
with common boots. I just love that contrast. They're really comfortable, really warm. You can wear them at night, you can wear them during the day, and it's really easy to find really good pairs in thrift stores. Just make sure that you look for like really solid leather, make sure that they're made well, make sure that they're in good condition, and most importantly, just go for clean, classic kind of looks. Nothing to Oh, nothing too like, ah. so these are a great staple. Before I got these in the thrift store, I got another pair in the thrift store that are a little more bulky and I actually get stopped all the time. People are asking me where I got these from and this is also from a thrift store in New York. I think they were like $20, but this is from a company called Ash, which uh, they make a lot of different boots and shoes in general. So there's still a company that's around. These are in amazing condition. The leather is so good. They're so solid I usually wear them all the time in the winter during the day and I love them so much because in the winter I really do wear boots uh, most of the time I really wanted to get kind of a fancier version for the Comet boots and it's obviously not mandatory whatsoever just wanted to share with you guys so I invested in this Louis Vuitton pair Come on. which if you notice is very similar to my thrifted pair. I actually don't wear these so often. I wear them more when it's like I'm going out in the evening or something. But during the day, my $30 boots are always on me. And then last but not least is definitely not an essential, but I found that I use these quite often. And these are also the Stuart Weitzman. I'm sure you've seen them everywhere. The high thigh boots. It took me a while to convince myself to purchase these because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to wear them. First of all, they are so, so comfortable. It's amazing. And for fall winter, these really, again, upgrade every outfit. If I'm wearing jeans, I just put these on and a blouse and I'm like ready to go out. If I wear any skirts or dresses, even with like dresses that are even longer, it's just, I love Love the look of having that fitted boot on your legs and makes them look super super long and this is really the only heel boot that I'll wear mini dresses and skirts with just because it gives that sexy vibe but also not so like revealing there's not too much skin going on I'm gonna link these there are on sale right now online like 40 percent off so i'm gonna link it to you guys in the description box and hopefully you'll get this deal these are a classic they've been around for years so they'll never go out of style and you'll always find ways to style them and wear them and feel really hot in them because that's how i feel in them Yay. And this is it you guys. These are all the pairs that I feel are super essential for every woman in her closet. You kind of have a little bit from every category to cover you all year round. I have other pairs but I find that these are the ones that I always go back to, always rely on. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing or where I'm going. All of these really cover all the styles and the moods that I'm in. So I hope this helped you guys. I will link these boots, whatever I can find online and affordable versions for them in the description box. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.